it's important to understand what a rental emergency is. Depending on whose perspective it is, owner, tenant, vendor, or property manager, it can mean different things when it happens. The definition found on Wikipedia is, an emergency is a situation that poses an immediate risk to health, life, property, or environment. Most emergencies require urgent intervention to prevent a worsening of the situation, although in some situations, mitigation may not be possible. And agencies may only be able to offer palliative care for the aftermath. While some emergencies are self-evident, such as a natural disaster that affects and threatens many lives, many smaller incidents require the subjective opinion of an observer or effective party in order to decide whether it qualifies as an emergency. The precise definition of an emergency, the agencies involved, and the procedures used vary by jurisdiction, and this is usually set by the government whose agencies, emergency services, are responsible for emergency planning and management. This is a precise definition, but when it comes to handling emergencies in rental property, the first step is to determine if there is a true emergency. Some emergencies are obvious when they happen, such as fire, water flowing through the property, loss of heat in cold conditions, major gas leak, etc. For these circumstances, it's important to take immediate action and simply handle the situation as quickly as possible. These are emergencies, but there are solutions. Often, a tenant has a different perspective on what an emergency actually is. When this happens, the property manager must consider the tenant's feelings, but at the same time, recognize that it's not an actual emergency. The following maintenance problems is a good example of this. Janice is a good tenant. One thing that Janice rarely does is cook. She does use the stove and the microwave, but not the oven. However, she invited 18 people for Thanksgiving and planned the full turkey dinner, including baked pies. The day before the holiday, she started working on the pies. When she turned on the oven, it didn't work. As you can imagine, she panicked, calling the property management office, screeching that she had an emergency, a true actual emergency. But when the property manager finally worked through the hysteria, she determined it was not an actual emergency, but a necessary repair. However, Janice was not to be sued. The property manager immediately called a technician to see if they could get out immediately. They would try, but cannot promise. Apparently, this is quite a common situation just before the Thanksgiving holiday. Eventually, the property manager also worked through the situation with Janice, and they came up with a plan for the Thanksgiving dinner. It took some time, but Janice finally came to realize that it was not a true emergency. The best news is that the vendor worked late and did manage to fix the oven. Now, this may seem like a silly example to you, but there are many similar situations like this with tenants. They can feel frightened, threatened, angry, frustrated, and more. They can be difficult tenants or just having a bad day. What's important is to determine quickly what the situation is. If it's a true emergency, we want to act on it right away. If not, we want to diffuse the situation, but still handle the repair in a timely manner. As a property owner, you may also feel angry and frustrated when a true emergency occurs. It will mean expense and potential problems with the tenant. We do our best to counsel tenants on what a true emergency is, but it's not always easy. As your property management company, we will do everything we can to minimize the problems and find the solution whether it's a true emergency or just a maintenance problem.